Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Getting Started with CAS360 webinar. My name is Warren Rendon, and I'm the head of CAS360 here at BGL. Joining me today in the webinar will be Pablo Rodriguez. Pablo is the head of customer experience at BGL. Now, what I'm going to go through is a huge amount of the features and functionality that is in CAS 360 that really can help you supercharge the way you are managing all of your companies and all of your trusts. So I'm going to focus really on the features inside CAS 360. Where Pablo is going to focus is really around all of the features and support services that we provide to you, whether it's part of your onboarding experience or whether it's part of your ongoing support. Um, we've got a huge amount of tools available to you all to uh, really help you get the most out of your CAS360 subscription should you encounter any issues along the journey. So what we've got is a migration and onboarding process for those of you that are looking to move to CAS360. What we'll do is, is really go through this migration and onboarding process. We'll go through the resources available. This is your help and support that we have available for you. And we'll also go through how to get you up and running with CAS360. And then we'll focus on some of the top features that are available in CAS360, but are perhaps not available in your current software. So what I'll do now is I'll introduce you to Pablo Rodriguez. Pablo, are you there? Yes, I am. Thank you very much, Warren. All right. Now, Pablo, I'll hand you over to discuss migration and onboarding. Not a problem, thank you very much. All right, so welcome everyone. Uh, so firstly, what we wanted to go through is uh, just explain to you what the migration or onboarding process will look like for you, depending on where you're coming from. So if you're coming from our desktop solution or if you are coming from um, ASIC or another software. So first of all, the most important thing is just ensure that you have your Cash for 60 license up and running, you've logged in and you can actually access the software. The second step uh, for CAS desktop users is that we uh, recommend that you run a validation process. Now the validation process will go through three key functions. Uh, one will be to auto fix any issues that the system identifies. Uh, the second one will be to do any manual fixes that the system might prompt you to do. And there might be things that you may be able to ignore. Uh, so they're the three steps through the validation process. And the main reason why we get you to do that is just to ensure that you have a cleanse and, and, and good data before it gets migrated so you don't encounter any issues in CAS360. Uh, with step three, it is then just simply provide a backup of the data, the documents, and any pending lodgements to our client success team, who will then take care of that for you and migrate that data for you to your CAS360 program. So that will include all your documents, any lodgements that you've done um, and your entire history of your CAS data as well. So that's for any CAS desktop users. Now, if you are coming from ASIC or another software provider, or you wish to actually start with brand new uh, data in CAS 360, um, again, first step, ensure you have your active license. Secondly, we say tune in. Uh, what do we mean by that? Uh, simply just um, have a look at our resources. So understand a little bit about how you customize your documents and email templates to ensure that it has your own firm look and feel to it. Um, understand a little bit about the key alerts as well um, and your review process, form notifications and so forth. And lastly, the setup process, uh, Warren and his team have done an amazing job here. Simply enter your edge credentials that you've received from ASIC and CAS will start fetching all the companies who you're an agent for. Uh, it will also go through and fetch any annual reviews that need to be processed. And in addition to that, it will then go through and check any company debts that are outstanding as well. So from timelines, CAS to CAS 360, about seven days. Um, ASIC to CAS 360, you can get up and running within the same day. So uh, they're sort of the two journeys that you can adopt if you're looking at moving to Cash360. So now I'll go through and show you um, how we get started. So in terms of getting started, again, brand new software. So you'll need to go through uh, just a little bit of um, upskilling and learning. So as part of your Cash360 subscription, you are uh, provided free access to our online learning channel. 
uh, which provides you with uh, things like your Castro 60 essentials training that can be done at your own pace, uh, things like trust management, digital signing, and you can also go through the certification process of being a Castro 60 user. In addition to that, we do also have some getting started webinars that are provided to you by our client success team. Uh, all of our classroom training currently has uh, been suspended and it's currently been run as a, um, online training. Um, and that will sort of resume again once we're sort of over this uh, COVID uh, stage. However, you can still register for your Cash for 60 Essentials and go through that online training. So that's uh, a little bit about how you get started with Cash for 60. With support, we've done some uh, big enhancements for you and developed what we call an omni-channel uh, in order to provide you uh, different means to um, get you to access report uh, resources. So the first one, um, as you'll be familiar with CAS uh, at the moment, desktop, a knowledge base. So we have a, a knowledge base in there to help you with any FAQs, any training uh, documents, or any setup queries that you might have. We're really proud that we've actually been able to also um, implement live chat directly within the software now. Uh, the great benefits about that is if you have any quick questions, rather than phoning up or sending an email and waiting um, hours, for someone to get back to you, live chat, you can get in contact with someone, you know, within a couple of minutes, really. Um, for email support, so if you're finding you have anything that's of a more technical nature, absolutely email support as you normally do. Um, our phone supports are still open. So we have our, you know, nine to six uh, PM uh, hours and we have a dedicated team to help you there. So if you're finding that, you know, you might be logged out of the software or have something really urgent that you need to get to, don't hesitate to contact us. And finally, we've developed a BGL community where you'll be able to find um, other users that are using Cash360. And you might have you know, something that's outside Cash360 and might wanna know how to deal with a specific scenario, which you can get other users to, um, to, to contact with. If not, it will be one of the product managers or, or one of their documentation managers that will be able to assist you through that as well. So now what we're going to look at is how our, um, I guess, support function works uh, in terms of submitting a, a new support ticket. So we're just going to show you a little video here. So basically, we just click on the phone. We type in our query. You'll find that it will then provide you articles or community-related um, articles. Simply just put in whether you want to be contacted by email or phone, whatever your problem statement might be and just enter your query there. You can also upload PDFs if you need to there as well. You then provide it with your ticket number, so you can use that as a reference. An email will be sent to you with some recommended articles. You can click on those to see if those help you. If they do, fantastic. Just click on yes, close my request, and your ticket will be closed for you. Now, if none of those help you out, that's fine. Support will get back to you. Within the knowledge base now, you are able to follow um, any support tickets that you have submitted. So if you need to refer to this back uh, at a future date, you can go back in here and have a look at those. In addition to that, anytime you comment on uh, an article or you're following a particular article, once again, you will be notified through here through your contributions. So that's from my support front, how to log a ticket. And now we're gonna show you uh, live chat. So with our live chat system, you just click on the little bubble hint on the top there. You'll be greeted by Cassie or AI. Enter your, uh, your question. It'll provide you some recommendations. Again, if those don't help, get in touch. Put in your message there. Uh, within really 60 seconds, you will get um, access to an agent um, and then they will help you out with whatever your query may be. So anything that's uh, of a quick uh, nature sort of uh, type query, please feel free to use our chat system. Uh, it's really great, people love it. Uh, and you really get a, a quick turnaround time for your query. So that's our, uh, our chat system there uh, that you can now start using directly from the software. So now, um, what about ongoing um, learning? You know, it's, it's always a bit of a, a tricky part for, for users. So what we do uh, is monthly update webinars, which are usually run by Warren. 
Um, and this really provides you enough to to let you know what are things we've released. So every two to three weeks, we are releasing new features. So it, you know, it sometimes takes a bit of time to get used to all these new features. Uh, so we have those webinars there. We also have uh, key feature webinars that, that we run. So to ensure you maximize your investment. So such things as SMS reminders or automated reminders might be some of the key sort of features that we will run webinars on. Uh, we also have our BGL and partnership webinars. So if you want to learn how to use DocuSign in Cash360 or TopDocs in Cash360, there's some of the webinars that we will run for you and show you how those two systems actually work together. And of course, we have our YouTube channel uh, for things, you know, such as, you know, integration with Ciro, uh, learn how that works, or uh, document providers again. We have all these um, avenues for you as well. So. There is quite a lot there for you. Um, as mentioned before, it's an omni-channel, so use whatever resources you feel most comfortable using, and you find you will get the best um, out of uh, BGL for you as well. So in saying that, I'll pass you over now to Warren, who will take you through the main features of the software. Thank you, Warren. Thank you very much, Pablo. Now, one of the things I just want to touch off uh, in summary there is that really, when you move to CAS 360, you get a huge amount of support and help that comes with you. So whether it's onboarding, ongoing support, ongoing training, learning the product, it's all available there, all the resources available there. We've really invested heavily in making sure that you've got all of the information and knowledge that you need to make CAS 360 a success. So what I'm going to go through is really some of the key features in CAS 360. Now, if you haven't seen CAS 360 before, this is really a key highlight of what CAS 360 does. So we focus on smart alerts and I'll go through those in a lot more detail. We have multi-company changes support. So you're able to make changes to companies in bulk in one process. You don't have to go through each company one by one. If you're using Zero Practice Manager or Zero HQ, we have a two-way integration with Zero Practice Manager. So what you're able to do is share your contact list across both applications. But what you're also able to do is actually create jobs in XPM from inside CAS 360. So if you're creating a job when you prepare an, uh, an annual review and you're doing that outside of CAS 360 or you're doing it outside of your current software, what CAS 360 allows you to do is to actually bring that functionality together. So you're completing the annual review task and creating the job in XPM in the one process. A really powerful feature in CAS 360 is trust management. So CAS 360 often gets seen as a company platform. It really is a company and trust platform. You really are able to uh, manage all of your trusts and I'll go through a little bit of that today. We have automated SMS and email reminders, and I'll go through a fair bit of that, but with our SMS reminders, you're actually able to receive responses from your client as well. And we also support emojis, which is really important. We integrate with document providers. So if you are establishing companies or establishing trusts through a document provider, whether it's TopDocs, ClearDocs, Access, any of those, we have integration with all of these providers, allowing you to set up the company on the website of your chosen provider and easily push that information to CAS 360. We also have e-signature solutions with DocuSign and Adobe Sign launching next month. So we can have all of our documents digitally signed as well. We provide incorporations and company name reservations uh, features. So you can create companies from within CAS 360. You can reserve company names from within CAS 360. And on trusts, we also provide you with discretionary trust distribution document packs. So we do unit trusts and we do dividends for companies as well, but we do discretionary trust distributions as well. So what I wanted to ask all of you before we start is, are you still using spreadsheets to manage your company compliance? Because what we've done with CAS 360, when we were building CAS 360, is we went out to a huge amount of firms and we looked at all of the processes that are being done. So if you have a look at a product like CAS Desktop, it is really powerful at preparing annual reviews and preparing Form 484s and getting them created and obviously also filing them. But what we did when we were, were creating CAS 360 is we looked at all of the processes that are being done around that preparation. So with CAS 360, we focused on obviously preparing annual reviews and ASIC forms really well and really seamlessly. But we put a whole other layer of service on top of that. 
Okay, so we've got alerts, we've got reminders, and we've got a whole layer of service that basically eliminates those spreadsheets because all of that functionality, all of the reasons for keeping those spreadsheets are now features inside CAS 360. So we start by mastering your workflow, and we're really passionate about the workflow when it comes to completing your company secretary work. And we focus on winning the morning and winning the day. Winning that first 15 minutes of your day if you are focused on doing company secretary work, winning that first 15 minutes is really important. So how do we do that and where do we start? Well, what we've done in CAS 360 is we've built a notifications feed. So think of your Facebook notifications. Every morning, you can go into your notifications feed and you will see everything that has happened automatically in CAS 360 overnight. This is where all of your annual reviews received come in. So if you're using CAS desktop, you never have to do a blank lodgement anymore. CAS 360 automatically fetches the annual reviews for you. And when the annual reviews come in, you'll receive a notification telling you you've received annual reviews. We also receive all of your ASIC invoices directly in CAS 360, okay? So you'll see your invoices come straight through there. Every single day, we update your debt balances. So what we do here is we run a debt report across all of the companies that you are agent for, and we have an updated report of all of your companies that owe ASIC money and it's fresh every single day with the ASIC invoices attached. If you're using DocuSign, all of your DocuSign signed documents come through in real time. So every single time one of your clients signs a document, you receive a notification telling you a client has signed the document and it's ready to be lodged. And also all of your SMS responses from your clients. Now there's many more, I'll show you how this works. So if I go to CAS 360, up in my top corner, I have here my notifications bell, and I can see I've got nine unread notifications. So here I can see I've got documents that have been digitally signed and I'm easily able to lodge them. I can see that I sent an email to a client and the email has failed, okay? So you get email fail notifications. I can see that a client has responded here to a, to a SMS. I can see that I've also got um, some documents that were approved by my manager or partner because CAS 360 has a full document review process. And I can also see that there's been an address change in Zero Practice Manager for one of my clients. And I can, at the click of a button, prepare the forms for ASIC for that particular change. So your notifications feed is giving you all of this information that is happening all around you. It's happening in DocuSign, in Zero, at ASIC. And all that information is you know, put together and delivered to you. So you can see it as it happens in your notification feed. So a really powerful feature to see what's happening around your company secretary work. The next feature I'm going to show you is the CAS 360 alerts. Now we developed these alerts really to eliminate spreadsheets, to eliminate the spreadsheets that were being kept for annual reviews or eliminate the spreadsheet or calendar reminders that were being kept every single time you prepared a form and you didn't want to get a late fee and also a process for managing all of your client's debt with ASIC. So here's how it works. Back on the company screen, you'll notice that each company has a set of little alerts next to it, uh, next to its name in that company screen. So I'm referring to this section here. Now, all of these alerts really mean things. And, and, and what we're trying to do is really show you the clients that you need to work on. So if you wanted to focus on annual reviews, what you can do is go over to the left-hand side and click on the annual review alert. Now, when I click on this, all of the clients that don't have an annual review alert are removed from the screen. So here now I'm able to focus on just the clients that I need to work on for annual reviews. For the clients that have a green alert, it means the annual review has been received by CAS 360 and it's ready to be processed. So you're ready to now complete the work for that client. What we will also do is we'll also track if CAS 360 was expecting an annual review and we haven't received it. Now, the main reason why you won't receive an annual review is because you're no longer the agent for that company. But obviously, if you get a annual review date passed and no annual re review received alert, it's good to investigate. With CAS 360, we've got some built-in intelligence that if an annual review date is missed and you don't have an annual review, CAS 360 automatically re-requests the annual review from ASIC. So you'll never be stuck in the situation where an annual review was due, but it wasn't received by the system. Because if the system doesn't receive it, it keeps asking ASIC every seven days. 
the main reason why practices keep a spreadsheet to make sure they don't miss any or to for their annual reviews is to make sure they don't miss any it's to make sure that none are missed so there's no late penalties cas 360 completely eliminates that and then we're ready to process the annual review i can go to annual reviews i've got here my comparison report so i've got a pass and fail and i can click on prepare documents there's my annual review pack i can click send and it's done really clean processing of the annual review in CAS 360. Back to the alerts, the next alert I have here is all about my document deadlines. So what I'm going to do here is filter all of my companies and show me just the companies that have upcoming document deadlines. Again, this is what you would use spreadsheets and calendars for, but CAS 360 now has all of this functionality built in. In CAS 360, we know exactly when you prepare the form and when it's due. So we are able to track exactly when the late fees are going to be due. If I put my mouse over this particular uh, document alert here, I can see that this client has a lodgement due in 10 days. So what I'm able to do is see exactly which clients have lodgements due. If I scroll down, I can see here that this client has an annual review deadline and a document deadline. Unfortunately, they're both late. So there's going to be some late fees here. But what CAS 360 is able to do is really track that for you. Okay, and I'll get into the next step, which is sending reminders. The third alert is all about your company debt. And this is a huge feature for CAS 360. If you are not managing your client debt today, okay, CAS 360 will unlock this for you. It means that you now have all of the tools available to you to manage client debt and to make sure your clients that have outstanding amounts to ASIC don't get late fees for those outstanding amounts. So to do this, I can click on my company debt alert. Again, the same feature. All of the clients that don't have debt aren't shown on the screen. We remove all the clutter and I can focus on just my two clients that have debt with ASIC. So I can see here that for Daniel's BGL RegTech company, we've got an ASIC invoice for $732. If I wanted to view the official ASIC invoice, I can click on the link here and up comes the official ASIC invoice with the breakdown on page two, just like it used to come in the post. They all come directly into CAS 360. What I've got here is I've got the total amount. I've also got the annual review due date and I've got the total debt due. And I also have a date updated. Now for you, this will be every morning. If I need information here, I've got B pay codes and everything like that. So I have all of that information. And if I wanted to pay the bill on Daniel's behalf, I can click on pay and it takes me straight through to Australian Post bill pay with all of the details entered in. So that is the CAS 360 alerts. Now, one thing that the CAS 360 alerts do is they give you all of the information about your clients, about the annual reviews, about document deadlines, about ASIC debt. And then it gives you the platform to engage with your clients. So communicating with your clients is key. And this is where CAS 360 does the work that CAS Desktop never did. What we are able to do is we're able to easily and quickly communicate with your clients from within CAS 360 with all of the knowledge that CAS 360 has given you. And what I ask is, do you think your clients would, get, would be happy to get an SMS from you the day before ASIC find them because CAS 360 gives you the ability to do that. What we also do is we give you the ability to speed up the process of getting documents back. It's not preparing the documents that's the issue with, with uh, corporate secretary work. It's getting the documents back from your clients. So what we do is we really superpower that. And also, how do we make sure clients don't get late fees? How do we communicate with them so that they don't get them? So this is where we've built reminders on top of the alerts. So for all of these, I'll show you how this works. So if I go back to my uh, document deadline reminder, for that 484 that was due in 10 days time, what I'm able to do is click on send reminder. I can select to include the document in the document pack. And what I'm going to do is here is send an email reminder to Warren. I click on send. Up comes my email template. Now you are able to completely customize the template and I'll get on, get into that a little bit later. But what you have here is a dedicated email. I can easily hit send. Obviously it's due on the 30th or the 4th, hit send. And that has now been emailed off to the client. 
So not only does the client have the original form pack, they've now got a reminder telling them to return the form. Really clean and really simple. It took me two seconds to send that reminder. If I wanted to send an SMS, I could do the same. All I needed to do is click send SMS and it will send an SMS reminder to the client. Again, you can include the ASIC document pack in the SMS. It's really, really nice. If you're using DocuSign, you get a few extra features. So if you click on send reminder, if it's a DocuSign document, when I toggle that on, I can see exactly who the document was sent to previously and if they have signed it or not. So you're getting extra visibility over the document. So DocuSign not only provides the ability for your client to digitally sign the document, it also provides you as a practice extra visibility. The next alert I'm going to focus on is the debt alert and making sure your clients pay their ASIC fees on time. So what you're able to do with this particular debt alert is you will have the annual review due date, which is generally a good guide as to when the amount is owed because predominantly a lot of the uh, amounts outstanding are annual review fees. And you're able to send the reminder off to the client. So I can click on send reminder. Again, I've got the ability to send via email or SMS. Okay, so email or SMS. I'm going to attach the official ASIC invoice, okay? And what I'm going to do is hit send. And not only is your client going to receive an email with the ASIC invoice attached, they actually have the pay now button where they can click pay now and it takes them directly through to Australian Post bill pay site like I did earlier, where they're able to easily pay that annual fee. And what this does, it really speeds up the, the time in which it takes your client to pay the ASIC fee. Because it's so simple for them, they're able to easily click the button and make that payment. We also have the pay now button included in the SMS. So if we're sending an SMS to a company, what we're able to do or to the company directors is we're able to have that pay now button inside the SMS. It's really, really nice as well as the invoice attached. So if I go back to my slides, what we're focusing on here is giving you the information so through the alerts, the alerts tell you which annual reviews have been received, which companies have deadlines fast approaching and which companies have debt. And then what we do is we give you that second layer to allow you to communicate that information out to your clients to hopefully get the documents back quicker and the debt paid quicker as well. What we also have is a feature called automated reminders. So those reminders that we're able to send, we're able to pre-configure them and have them sent automatically. So if I go to very quickly prepare a form, so if I go inside a company, go to company offices, I've got here a officer, a secretary appointment and click prepare, click on prepare forms. And what I'm able to do is actually click on set up automated reminders. And when I do that, we're going to prepare the document pack. Okay, and up comes my automated reminder screen. And what I'm able to do here is add in the recipient. So I'll select myself. And I'm going to send a reminder on the 22nd. So you can see at the top of the screen, the lodgement is due on the 30th or the 4th. I'm going to send the first reminder on the 22nd and it's going to be an email. And then click on add another reminder. And what I'm going to do this time is make it an SMS. And again, I'll select uh, Warren. And what I'm going to do is on the 25th at 9 a.m. send an SMS to Warren. I can then add a final reminder on the 28th for email and SMS. So really annoy the hell out of this person <laughs> to make sure they get the document back to us quickly. I can hit save and what that will do is that will set up those reminders automatically in the system so that they are going to be sent off as the system goes without any user interaction. Now, if the document does get returned and the document is lodged, what we do is we turn the reminders off. So we're never going to be in a situation where you've set up reminders and they're being sent out for documents that you've already received back. We've built the system to be smart enough to know that the document is lodged and we no longer need to send the reminders. So what we're focused there is on the real key pillars of company compliance work, the annual review, document deadlines, ASIC debt, giving you all of that information automatically in the system, but then giving you the ability to very easily communicate that information out to your client. The third item I'm going to cover here is giving them some style. You know, style is a way to say who you are without speaking. What we've built in CAS 360 
is a huge amount of customization functionality. Now, you, you might not want to customize the, the documents and the email templates. We've really worked hard to make them look really professional and really nice so that you can send emails and documents straight out of the box in CAS 360. However, if you want to customize your documents and customize your emails, you've got a really huge amount of power. So you can customize every single email that you send to your client. Okay, every single email that you send to your client, you can completely customize. All of your documents, every document in CAS 360, other than the ASIC forms, can be completely customized. Again, we follow CCH templates, so you get really, really nice te document templates by default. But if you wanna make alterations and changes, you absolutely can. And also the SMS templates you can customize, and you can make those templates say everything that you want to say. So I'll go into um, the editing of the templates, but there's one thing I wanted to focus on, and that is the cover letter, the annual review cover letter. So many practices I've been out to see have an annual review cover letter. And what they're doing is they are preparing the annual review cover letter in CAS desktop or from the, or, sorry, preparing the annual review in CAS desktop or from ASIC portal. And then they're going to Microsoft Word and preparing a cover letter. And the process is taking 15 minutes, 20 minutes. With CAS 360, we completely eliminate that because what you do is you put your cover letter template, your Microsoft Word cover letter template in CAS 360 and CAS 360 does the rest. It includes the cover letter with the rest of the document pack. So you're looking here at a saving of about 15 minutes per annual review, okay? It makes the investment in CAS 360 almost worth it for that feature alone. So I'll show you how this works. Inside settings, I have here document templates. Inside my document templates, I have a list of every single document template. Now what I've got here is my annual review cover letter. And I'll show you how this one looks. This is my uh, 2020 cover letter. So I'll show you how this works. So up comes my cover letter when Microsoft Word chooses to start. Here we go. So up will come my cover letter in hopefully a few seconds. <laughs> Come on now, there we go. So what I've got here is a very basic cover letter, but as you can see, it's a Microsoft Word template. Now what I've done is I've added my accounting firm logo there. I've also added my signature at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so I've got my letter looking exactly how I want it to look. And now all I've had to do, and this is a one-time operation, is put in the merge fields. So here I'm putting in the document date, here I'm putting in the officer title, initial surname proper case, um, the company name proper case, uh, company postal address, multi-line, uh, officer first name proper case. So you've got different variations of each different data point that you want to put in there. Obviously the company name, the annual review da uh, date amount and the annual review due date. So I've put in those merge fields. That's all I've done. I set it up once. I click save and upload. Okay, and I set it as default. And now when I go to my annual review screen and I go to prepare my annual review cover letter, which I've got just here, you can see it uses that exact template and it merges in all of the information that I need. So what we've got here is our cover letter prepared instantly. I can prepare that cover letter with the annual company statement, which can be signed off by the director with my ASIC invoice and with my solvency resolution. Again, I can customize my solvency resolution if I wanted to customize that. But I've got that pack prepared and ready to be delivered to my client in seconds. Where the comparison report passes, okay, where this is a pass, which should be by far 80, 90% of your companies, you should be processing these annual reviews in about 30 seconds. It's really, really powerful. Now, what we can also do is we can also customize your email templates. So if I go to settings, email templates, in CAS 360, we've given you two versions of a template, a classic and a modern template. This is the modern template by default, okay? So you'll see it's quite clean, quite white. Um, you can see where the merge fields are there. That's obviously data that the system's going to pre-fill but we've got a whole dictionary of merge fields, which you can customize. And we've also got the pay now button 
in the email template by default. So you don't have to do any uh, magic logic there. We put it all in there for you. Now, if I go to my version of the annual review template, which is very similar to my uh, cover letter, what I've done is I've just here put my logo in there. I've also put an image of my signature in there, maybe change a few bits of wording around. But that's all I've done. It took me 15 minutes or so. And I've got my template, which looks exactly how I want it to look. And now every time I send an email out to my client for their annual review, it's going to use this email template with my cover letter, with my annual statement, with my invoice, with my solvency resolution. So if I go and prepare that for you, go and prepare documents. Uh, just for the example, I'll turn DocuSign off. Click on send, up comes the email. My bad. I'll make sure my email template is being used. Click on send and up comes my email template and I can see exactly how that's going to look. Okay. And I can deliver that off to the client. And that's now been sent to the client. That email template customized to match your firm's logo, your branding. Maybe if you're, you don't use green, you use blue in your logo, you can change the color of the pay now button. All of that information can be altered so that the emails and the communication that you are delivering to your client matches your firm and matches your firm's branding. So you've got full customization of those email templates. One thing that you don't have in the email templates is you don't have BGL's logo everywhere. We don't put our logo in the templates. It's your business. Uh, it's your brand. So we allow you full control over those templates. The next feature I'm going to touch on is trusts. Okay. And what I've got here is a pretty average quote, but CAS 360 is worthy of your firm's trusts. <laughs> so not only does CAS 360 have all of your companies, it also supports all of your trusts. So I've got a dedicated trust selection screen here. Okay. And this is where you can put in all of your trusts. Now coming, if you're coming from CAS desktop, all of your trusts will be migrated by default. Okay. So you won't have any data entry. If you're using a zero practice manager, coming very soon will be a trust import. We're actually going to be able to import all of your trusts based on the data you have in the relationship section. Now inside a trust right now today, we support two types of trusts. We support unit and discretionary trusts. However, coming very soon will be uh, the hybrid trust and bear trust support as well. So they're coming very soon. If I go into my unit trust, I've got information here about my trust details. But for the unit trust, the really important feature here is your unit holder screen. So here I've got all of my unit holders and I've got all of the unit transactions that mirror the same as our share transactions. So you've got here all of your unit transaction types. And what CAS360 will do is prepare document packs for all of these transactions. So if I wanted to do like I've got here a unit allotment transaction and click on prepare form. And up comes my trustee minute, my unit holder minute, my register of unit holders, my unit certificate and my application for units. All of those prepared and ready to be delivered to the client. Going one step further, we also have unit trust distributions where you can go in and add a distribution based on that particular unit, unit structure. If I go now to a discretionary trust, what I've got here again is my trust details screen. Now actually launching next month will be a new feature called trust relationships. And that's where you're going to be able to prepare all of your uh, transactional documents for a change of trustee, a, ch a change of a pointer, all of that information. So that's launching in May. But if I go to my beneficiaries section, I've got here all of my beneficiaries that are listed and I can add and remove beneficiaries, but I can also now prepare my discretionary trust distribution pack. So to do that, I click on distribution, add distribution, up comes my distribution screen. Now here, what we're able to do is actually distribute by dollar, percentage or free text. Okay, for free text, you're able to go in here and type in things like first 10,000 and then potentially in the second section or something like that, write in balance. So that what I'm able to do is put in uh, maybe the balance and spell. Here. Now what I'm able to do is then click save and prepare and prepare my discretionary trust distribution minutes. 
So I'm able to prepare the minutes that have the information that's reflected here. Now we actually support 24 different income tax components as well. So you can see I've got dividends, franked, unfranked, gross interest, other income, but I've also got all of the other distribution components that you might want as well. So a really comprehensive discretionary trust distribution feature set as well. What's really important to know is that there is a really close relationship between all of the company data and all of the trust data. And CAS 360 gives you the ability to match it all together and then prepare things like reports across companies and trusts so that you've got a really good picture of a particular person's interests in the number of companies or trusts. So it's really powerful to have um, companies and trusts together. And the best thing for CAS 360, we don't charge for trusts. Trusts are free. The next set of features I'm going to talk about are all about the integrations that we have with CAS 360. We've spent a huge amount of time investing in integrations so that we are able to connect CAS 360 to the other apps that you use in your practice. Okay, this creates huge efficiencies, it saves time and it removes double entry. So the first area, and we've already touched a little bit on this, is your practice management. And we have an integration with Zero Practice Manager. It's a two-way integration. It's an award-winning integration. Uh, BGL won uh, Zero's Practice App of the Year last year because of this integration. It is a huge integration where you're able to share data that's in Zero Practice Manager and CAS 360 and also Simple Fund 360 so that you have a unified client list. It's a really powerful integration and one that will save you a huge amount of time, especially when it comes to maintaining records. Coming soon will also be great soft integration. So for those of you that don't use Zero Practice Manager, we are expanding our practice management integrations out. We've got great soft, we've got uh, carbon, uh, we've got CCH in the pipeline as well. So they're all coming soon so that we can really allow you to connect your apps to whatever practice app you're using. In terms of digital signing, we have a DocuSign integration, which has been there for two years now. And we've got an Adobe Sign integration, which we are looking to launch in May. So you've got your choice there of digital signing apps. And I'd say over the, the course of 2020, we'll look to add even more. So you've got more choice about which signing app you want to use. I mentioned document providers before, but if, if you are wanting to establish companies or establish trusts with document providers like Axis, Lightyear Docs, App Abbots, NTAA, Smarter SMSF, Top Docs, Clear Docs. CAS 360 integrates with all of these providers. It means that you can create the company on these providers' websites and at the click of a button, prepare and push the documents to CAS 360 and all of the company data. So if you are registering a company with Top Docs, you can put in all the data in the Top Docs website, click push to CAS 360 and all of the data is there. Okay, so we work really, uh, really hard with the document providers to make sure that it's a seamless approach when creating entities. One thing that's coming soon is our document management integration. So we've got FYI docs, suite files and virtual cabinet, which we are all working with. We've built a huge amount of tools at the start of this year to allow integration so that every document that you've ever prepared in CAS 360 or you ever prepare going forward in CAS 360 can automatically be uh, attached or added to FYI docs, suite files or virtual cabinet. So that whole process of copying a document or CCing yourself in an email or CCing the document uh, management application in an email uh, is gone. We're going to be able to create a really smart integration and look forward to that coming out very soon. We also integrate with the practice tools such as Account Kit and Change GPS. Both of these apps are, are really, really powerful in their own right. But with the CAS 360 integration, it just adds more information and more reporting and more functionality for both of these apps. And obviously we integrate with Simple Fund 360. So our integration with Simple Fund 360 allows you to share client, the client list across both applications. So if you've got a, a particular client who appears in CAS 360 because they've got a super trustee company, and then they appear in Simple Fund 360 because obviously they're a member of a super fund, you're able to link that person across both applications. And if there is a change to that person in either app, it will automatically update the other application. So it works similar to the Zero Practice Manager integration. And of course, you can actually have all three connected. So you have a unified client list across all three applications. 
So that's a very quick overview of CAS 360. What I will do now, and Pablo's here with me as well, is we're here to answer any questions that you would like to ask. So if there are any questions, please feel free to type them in the Q&A and uh, I'll do my best to answer them through. Okay, so there's a question here. Uh, Warren, any chance in the future you'll integrate with uh, Reckon APS practice management and Reckon Docs? Uh, Reckon APS, yes. Um, uh, we are working with Reckon APS, so I can confirm that. Um, with Reckon Docs, we have uh, reached out to Reckon Docs. Um, uh, certainly, we've given them all of the tools that they need to uh, integrate. Uh, we would love Reckon Docs to be integrated in CAS 360. So, um, yeah, uh, Andrea, to answer your question, absolutely, that's uh, the path that we want to go down um, for sure. So, hopefully, that answers your question. Uh, if there are any other questions, guys, please uh, send them through. Obviously, the, the obvious question that's coming through is costing. So CAS 360 is $13 per company per year, okay? Uh, included in that is obviously all of your support, unlimited users, all of your onboarding, which is free. So we will onboard you for free. Your learning channel is free. All of the uh, webinars, uh, essentially, that Pablo was mentioning, are include, uh, including sort of getting started webinars and product update webinars, they are all free. We've got a huge back catalogue of those webinars as well, so you'll get up to date. Um, so yes, uh, all of that information is, uh, is available. It's all included in the price of $13 per company per year. If you are wanting to sign documents with DocuSign or Adobe Sign, you do need to pay the fee for DocuSign and Adobe Sign. And the same as with our document providers. So if you are using TopDocs or ClearDocs or Access or any of our document providers, obviously there's fees for those uh, documents as well. So they're outside of CAS360 costs, but to prepare and complete all of your work in CAS360, $13 per company per year and no cost for trusts. Can trust deeds be attached in CAS 360? Yes, they can. Um, you can attach them in global documents. So if you go to the document screen, I'll just show you here. If you go to your global document screen, you can click on upload um, and you can attach uh, the trust deed to the trust and any documents that the trust produces will also be attached in here as well. So, um, and the same applies for your company constitutions. Um, you can go into your document screen and upload those. The same also applies to your company register binders if you still have them. Um, what you're able to do is uh, scan them and put them into CAS 360. Uh, we don't have any limitations really on, on the amount of documents that you can have in CAS 360 for a client. You know, there's no storage limitation and things like that. You can add all of those documents in and potentially return the company binder back to the client. Uh, because you don't need it because you've got it all digitally. Um, question here about how long before virtual cabinet integration will be available. Uh, look, very hard to answer that question, Robin. Um, I would love it to be available sooner rather than later. Um, I would say it would still be uh, two or so months at least. Um, but uh, it's, you know, we've been working with virtual cabinet for a few months now and um, really excited with what we're going to be able to do and, um, we've built some tools for virtual cabinet and for suite files and FYI docs, I must say, um, to allow you to allow those applications to import all of your documents. So if you're coming from CAS desktop, when you migrate to CAS 360, all of your documents will come into CAS 360. And then as soon as they're in CAS 360, uh, those document management applications are going to be able to have access to those documents and import them into um, the various apps if they're not there already. Um, and there's also going to be a feature where uh, every day or every hour or every five minutes, um, these document management apps are going to be able to check CAS 360 if any documents have been created and automatically download them. So really will speed up that process of making sure you're keeping complete document uh, or company client files. So that's there. Um, how much does DocuSign cost? It's always a bit different, uh, difficult with DocuSign because it does depend on volume. Um, uh, suffice to say that um, if well, the more documents that you are um, signing, uh, the cheaper price that you get. Um, as a guide, I'd say, I think the standard document price per envelope is around six to $7. That's probably the ballpark range. Um, but it does depend on the volume. So if you're a bigger volume firm, you might get a better price. Um, I have an old CAS backup about two to three years ago before CAS 360. Um, certainly, Ian, we're able to migrate that if you wanted to. Um, however, if um, you feel that the data might be better suited to import from ASIC, then you can certainly 
do that as well. So either or, it's completely up to you. Um, there's no a- extra cost either way. Um, it's uh, it's completely up to you, which you think is is best and best for you when it comes to onboarding. So um, whether you want to use the old backup from two, three years ago, which we can easily import, or whether you want to do a direct download from ASIC based on the data that ASIC have today for your clients, uh, we can do either. Uh, what happens if Simple Fund Desktop is still in use and we migrate to CAS 360? Um, look, there will be no impact other than if you are um, integrated CAS Desktop and Simple Fund Desktop. Obviously, if you move to CAS 360, that integration will stop. Um, but other than that, Simple Fund Desktop will continue to operate like normal. Um, same as if you went the other way. If you were on Simple Fund 360 and moved and were still on CAS Desktop, um, obviously the two apps still work independently of each other. Um, it's only the, the, the link between the two that um, that will stop working. But other than that, everything else will keep working. Um, so do I have a time frame uh, for when uh, Reckon APS will be integration? Uh, look, it's, it's hard, as I said, I'm hopeful over the next few, next two to three months um, that it will be available. It is hard for me to give a time frame because uh, it's something that Reckon APS have to work on. Um, as well. So um, I would hope for around the next two to three months, um, but uh, that's sort of a guideline, Andrea. Certainly we want to uh, release it quickly because we want to make sure that uh, we want to integrate with all of the practice management apps. So um, I suppose watch this space a little bit, but um, I'm not not saying it's available today because it's not, um, but maybe in two or three months time, we might have some, uh, some different news for you. Uh, Ian, yeah, uh, we'll, uh, we'll give you, we'll, we will give you a call. Um, just a couple of other questions here. Uh, we pay all our clients filing fees and send APS invoice to client, including ASIC fee. Can you attach a separate PDF to a document? Uh, yes, Robin, absolutely you can. Uh, every single time you prepare a document in CAS 360, you have the ability to, um, uh, essentially to click on prepare documents and you've got here an upload button and you can include any document you want here. If it's an engagement letter, if it's a tax letter, if it's any document, uh, you can click on upload, including the invoice, for example, uh, you can click on upload and attach it here. I mean, longer term, we'd love to have a direct integration with APS invoices. I think that would probably be better, but that's a longer term thing. I think there'll still be a bit of short term where you'll need to click on the upload button, but uh, certainly we can facilitate that today. One thing that's really important is that with CAS 360 is we've built the whole infrastructure for you to be able to send emails to clients. So every single time you prepare a change to a company, you're able to send the email to the client. Why that's really important is because CAS 360 gives you uh, an outbox, right? So up on your screen now, you'll see here an outbox. And this is an e- this is your sent items from CAS 360. Now, why this is really important is if you've got multiple staff, Uh, and you're sending emails from your own personal email, you can't see who was sent what. I mean, you don't have access to the sent items of your colleague. Well, I hope you don't, but but you don't have access to that. So what CAS 360 does is it brings all of that information into a central location where you're able to see exactly every email that has been sent to a client. So uh, so you can can do that as you can see that as well. Um, if there are any other questions, please feel free to send them through. Uh, Pablo and I are still around. Um, if there's anything that you wanted to see as part of the demonstration or as part of today's session that I haven't covered, uh, please feel free to, uh, to type it into the Q&A and, uh, and I'll do my best to show it through to you.